Hi, I'm glad you could join me for prayer. Tonight we're in the last chapter of the book of Job, chapter 42. And previously, God had stepped out of the whirlwind and spoke to Job about the wonders of all that is, of the created order and all its beauty and wildness and wonder. And this is Job's response after God has finished speaking. Job answered the Lord, I know you can do anything. No plans of yours can be opposed successfully. You said, who is this darkening counsel without knowledge? I have indeed spoken about things I didn't understand, wonders beyond my comprehension. You said, listen and I will speak. I will question you and you will inform me. My ears had heard about you, but now my eyes have seen you. Therefore, I relent and find comfort on dust and ashes. I invite you to close your eyes, to take a deep breath and release all your tension. I invite you to breathe in comfort and release your worries. I invite you to breathe in comfort and release that tension. I invite you to breathe in comfort and release your sorrows. God, Holy One, we have sat with Job in the dust and ashes, and we heard your question. You said, who is this darkening counsel without knowledge? God, so often we jump into a conversation where we have little or no knowledge. We speak of things we don't know enough about to discuss fully. We share thoughts that made us chuckle, but didn't delve into too deep into what was being said, how it was being said, why it was being said. We didn't seek the answers before speaking. So God, we acknowledge those times we spoke about things we didn't understand. We acknowledge those times we spoke, we misspoke. We spoke and didn't understand and hurt someone. We acknowledge those times we spoke and it was not based on what we had learned about you, about the dreams you have for about for us about the wonders that we can't even contemplate about the love that is so extravagant. Holy One, we have sat with Job in the dust and ashes and we heard your question. You said, listen and I will speak. I will question you and you will inform me. The thing is, God, we prefer to speak than to listen. We prefer to share our complaints, our troubles, our anxieties, our wishes, our dreams. We prefer to talk and talk and talk, but to listen is hard. To listen for your voice is so hard. We have trouble being still and quiet. We have trouble stilling our mind to hear you. But now, here, we quiet ourselves and we breathe deeply. God, we've heard about you. Before, all we have had is other people's words, other people's prayers, other people's explanations. But now we want you to see you, to understand you, to find comfort in you. Comfort us as we pray that we can repent, relent, turn around, turn back to you, change our minds that we can turn to you always, to you. Amen.